In today's video, my daughter Edie is traveling through time to experience 100 years of school lunches and 100 years of fashion from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and today. And make sure to stick around to the end to see which is her favorite. So before we go back in time, I need our 100 years of school lunches. I don't think this uh, outfit is gonna cut it. You ready, Edie? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, okay! Life in the 1920s and 30s was the era of Great Depression in the UK, and it was very difficult for most families. However, school was compulsory for all children from the age of 5 to 14, which Edie's about to find out. This is 1930s Edie. Oh, you look really cute. That's better than that, like, Nirvana stuff and all your preppy fit. Ew. Alright, you ready for lunch? Not really. <laughs> Let's go to lunch! Um, so the outfit is um, fine. It does feel quite nice, but the hat is just does not look nice at all. And the dress is a bit like who would wear this? I look like a maid. Here we go, your first meal from the 1930s. Now this is kind of the 1920s and 30s. So how do you rate it? What do you think? How about that for a lunch? Um, that's kind of plain and boring. So what are you gonna try first? Water. Ooh, okay. And this is kind of every day. You just you might just have bread and water every day. That was it. Just Tough times. Um, it's not a very big meal. How is your bread, Vanessa? My bread is lovely, except it turns out I've got the plague. <coughs> so you want to you jump in the time machine? Yeah. You want to jump to 1940? Let's leave Vanessa. Goodbye 1930, let's go to 1940. Hopefully it's better, it could be worse. Uh oh. So 1930 wasn't for me. Don't like the food, don't like the fashion. So now, let's go into 1940 and hope it's a lot better food and fashion. Ah, 1940. Ugh, what am I wearing? And what's that noise? This doesn't look too good. Neither does this hat. The advent of war in the 1940s led to thousands of children being evacuated from Britain's cities and towns. Their lives were changed forever, and between the air raids, they would do their classes. Okay, so now it's 1940. Um, this outfit is horrible. There's too many things to name why I hate it. It's so tiny and ugly. I don't know why people would even wear that. The color, like, what happened? I'm concerned the food is not gonna be good. Here we go. We have got some spam fritters. Okay, spam. You have to be sad about this. <laughs> there you go. Welcome to the 1940s. Okay, now wow. you, you must eat it all because there's rationing going on. That's gonna feed a whole family. You're lucky to even get school lunches. Ew. Three. Hey, come on, carrots and peas ain't bad. For you. Carrots are fine. There's a lot going on. You know, the air raid siren keeps going off, so we all have to like run to our bunkers. We gotta be careful. So, I, well, unfortunately, there's a bit of a mess made, you know? But uh, your battalion is waiting for you outside. Did you wanna jump in the time machine again and go to 1950? Yeah. You think 1950 is gonna be worse or better? Well, that's a charm. I taste the carrots. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so 1940 was an absolute fail. This is my least favorite, even though we've only done two now. I'm, I just know this is definitely gonna be the worst one. I hate everything about this. Now we're going on to 1950, and that's a charm, but I'm not so sure about that, so let's go. Oh, wow. In 1950s, the after effects of the Second World War were still ongoing, and many goods were still being rationed, and most children had left school and started working by the age of 14. This is probably my favourite so far though, because it's quite nice still. I mean, the hat isn't, it looks like one of these bonnets at the start, but still, it's, it's comfy. 
comfy, it's nice, the dress is quite long. Let's go see what they get to eat. I hope it's something nice. Okay, so this isn't too bad, which is kind of a good sign. So maybe third is a charm. So I'm excited to see what I have to eat. Please be something good. Here you go, put. We got ourselves a nice pie with some local meat. Wait, this is England in 1950. Oh, why am I Louisiana? We've got some, no, that's Irish. How do we talk like in 19? We've got some lovely uh, minced beef pie. We've got some mashed potatoes and we've got some carrots and peas. Delightful. I see broccoli. There's a little bit of broccoli. There's a little bit of broccoli. Things are a bit tough <laughs> after the war. Things are a bit tough, but uh, we're making do. What's in it again? Uh, I think it's a beef pie. It's probably like whatever local animals could be found. If this was 1950, you would be so happy to have this because your parents are probably going hungry, okay? But they've, 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 they've saved up and they've sent you to a good school. Such a good school. Yeah, puff pastry pies, potato, broccoli and peas and parrots. Broccoli. Mm. If they're an aftertaste of depression. Let's go to 1960. Woohoo! So 1950 was okay. The food, it was fine. We're going to move on to 1960 now. Let's see. What is this? In the 1960s, children were allowed freedoms unheard of today. World War II had left large areas and towns and cities devastated following the bombing raid. But these large areas were perfect for making festivals and parties. Why are the sleeves like this? Was this the new on top trend? Also the big bow. The okay, so I think I have second thoughts about this. I actually do not like this outfit. I just realized that. So now I am not excited for the food and if it's not good, I will cutely cry. <laughs> Bring on the food. It's your favorite dinner lady and she's back again. And this time for the 1960s, we have a lovely cottage pie with minced meat again and carrots and peas. This seems to be a staple throughout the years of the basic veg. Taste your ass cottage pie. Hey, that spoon has been around for 40 years already, okay? All right, it's been, it's been through a lot. That fork has been through a lot. They haven't invented dishwashers yet, unfortunately, in the 1960s, if you reckon. Up the ring. What are we thinking? You, you like it? How do you, how do you feel about the 60s? The 60s is okay. I mean, I'd never wear this. Obviously. Well, you would if it was 1960. You ready to go to 1970? No. It was bad, then it got better. Worse. Then it got worse. And then, then it got better. 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 Oh, it's got better each year. Mm. Okay, let's go back to the time machine. <laughs> so 1960 was something. So now I'm going on to 1970, which I am hoping will be a lot better. I have said that every time and it escalated. Hopefully it's not as crazy as this. Let's find out. In the 1970s, there was a huge upheaval in the education system in the UK. First grammar, technical and secondary modern schools began, and subjects started to get less gender specific than they were in previous years. One, two, three, four. You need four necklaces, leg warmers and and thingies. Okay, so now it's 1970, and the clothes are fine, I, I guess. <laughs> nice. Um, and I'm excited to see what the food is like. I'm ready for my food. Tea. Bring on the food. I'm so excited. It's your favorite dinner lady and 1970s fish and chips. Fish and chips? Welcome to the good times, my friend. My sister and my brother were both born in the 1970s. 
luck to you and you were... I was born in the 1980s. I would have eaten food like this. Why are these so tiny though? Like skinny. Well, they're like fries. Clothes are a bit... A bit interesting, but we didn't have the internet. We didn't have anything to base our uh, dress sense off. You know what I mean? So we just kind of, there was a lot of like, there was a lot of accessories and colors. I think all parents would think, they're so cute. Well, most parents would be like, dressed like that when they were your age. But they're like, hey. I'd give this an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. So you, are we saying you could live in the 70s? I could, but. I'm not sure if I would. Some of the downsides, no Roblox, no, no phone, no iPad, no, no internet. No. When you wanted to watch a movie, you had to go to a video store. Sometimes you would, the movie you wanted to watch wouldn't be there because someone else is watching it. Imagine the internet was like that. Only one person at a time can watch YouTube. You ready to go to 1980? Please, let me finish my Oh, you're enjoying 1970. Oh, all right, we're enjoying 1970. I, things are getting better. You want to stay here in 1970 no, forever? No, 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 I enjoyed 1970. Let's go on to 1980. Stranger Things era, the food better be good though. Let's go. In the 1980s, technology continued to grow in popularity and we got color television. And a new type of exam was introduced called the GCSE. And you probably watched Prince Charles marry Princess Diana. That's colorful. It's good to go casual again. I like the baggy, the baggy vibe. Let's see the food. Okay, so the clothes are very colorful and nice. They're fine, kind of tracks his tea. Well, hello there, tis myself. And check that out, huh? It spells your name. This was the beginning of the fun food era. Before everything got too healthy, and there was too many rules about what we could and could not eat. Who wants fish fingers? You can have little fish cakes. They're way better than fish fingers. You got, who wants chips and you can have your name spelled out? <gasps> bon appetito. Okay, let's eat the O first. Okay, can't really go wrong. Can't go wrong with this, 1980. This is it, this is when I was a kid. This is the kind of food I had during the good times. Time for the little fish. We still didn't have the internet. So we we're still naive to everything, so we just ate what we wanted. So it's the same kind of food, it's fish and chips, but in a different this form. This is my favorite. Is this the favorite? Yeah, because it's like a fun fish and chips. It's like nuggets and smiley faces. Well, letters, are you ready to go to the 90s? When you say it like that, I'm sad, but. <laughs> are you ready to get in the time machine? Yeah. To go to the greatest era of mankind's entire history. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that was probably my favorite food, not clothing. Hopefully 1990s better. Let's go. Oh, 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 wow. In the 90s, the World Wide Web became available to the public for the first time, and people started listening to CDs. We said goodbye to Princess Diana, we watched Home Alone, and the first Harry Potter book was published, and the Spice Girls were formed. This was right. This is definitely my favorite clothing so far. If the clothes are like this, I don't know what the food is gonna be, but I'm excited to see it. Now it's 1990 and I'm very excited to see what the food is like because this is my favorite outfit. Welcome to 1990. Right, so we're talking pizza and Dairy Lee Dunkers because we don't need any veggie. Kids don't need veg. You don't like veg, you don't have to eat veg. It's all about the good times. Oh, have a Dairy Lee Dunker. Dunk away, my friend. 1990, officially my favorite. 90s were fun. Mm. 90s were all fun. You love the 90s now, you guys are all about the 90s, but to live it, actually, organically, authentically. There was no rules, nothing was bad for you. You guys can just go out, go on like adventures, just try to get home before it was dark. Your parents had no way of tracking you or knowing what you were doing. No one, n no one even cared. We did get the internet in the 2000s. We did have devices in the 2000s, but unfortunately there was a lot more rules about food. Is that a fly? <laughs> Back to the time machine. 1990, 
was amazing. It was so much fun. It was 100%, nothing can beat that. It's my favorite one. Let's see if it can beat 2000s. Let's find out. One more blow. The 2000s were the explosion of social media, Minecraft, Harry Potter movies, Frozen, Peppa Pig, The Baby Shark, and of course, One Direction. And YouTubers became a thing. This is so cool. If the outfits like this, the food must be good. I still don't think it will beat 1990. C-H-E-E-R, what does that spell? Cheese! 2000s is quite good so far, but let's see the food to see if it's as good as the outfit. I just love doing that. I'm practicing for in 2024 when I'm a cheerleader. So, cook. Here we go. Now I know you kids are all crazy about your boy bands and your pop music, but if you could just take a minute to eat your food. So now we've gone back to fish fingers and chips and cheese strings. Cheese strings were the rage. I think you might like these. So the best thing about 2000s ED is now you've got you've got devices. And there wasn't any good apps or anything on that. No, unfortunately there was not. The um, the phones were very early stages. The internet was extremely there was no TikTok, there was no Snapchat, there was no Instagram. There wasn't even musically. There was definitely not musically. Um, YouTube started in two thousands, and so did Facebook. Um, you may have a Bebo account. Checking, you're giving likes to your friends on Bebo. I don't have too much of that. Well, I need to have this. Yeah, your cheese strings. Too cheesy. Ew. Too cheesy. Well, are you ready to jump forward to modern there's times? More? Well, there's your era. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to modern time from 2000s. 2000s was quite good, but we've had too much fish and chips, you know? We're just not feeling it anymore. Let's go. <gasps> Back in 2024. The 2020s, I would call a pop culture mega period. We live in a more included world. The TV's better. The movies are better. Music's better. Life is better. But is the food better? <sighs> the good old days why it's good to be back this outfit is a giving it's slaying yes queen now i'm so excited to see what i'm gonna eat in 2024 also fashion sense <laughs> it's amazing so let's see what we have to eat now all right 2024 and as you can see the veg has made a return and the start product which the potato has featured heavily throughout the years and it has transformed itself from mashed potato to chips to smiley faces back to chips and now it comes in the form of a baked potato wow oh somehow a chip has traveled through time with us <laughs> <laughs> well Okay. Baked potato. A bit cold, but mm. it's been it's been a long time traveling experience. So they built up the 1990s where we threw caution to the wind. Veg was gone. Everything was crazy, and then it slowly made its way back to here. Are you ready to go to 2030? Whoa. In 2030, artificial intelligence became more physical with robotic bodies, and unfortunately they turned against the humans, but the humans didn't mind because they were too distracted with all the social media feeds that they have. <laughs> Imagine, I don't know what 2030's gonna be like. I'm on the iPhone. No, if, if it's anything to go by this, maybe it's gonna go, it seems like we're going back in time in terms of our food choices, you know? Sorry, I just need to go get my flying car real quick. <laughs> Leave comments of what your favorite era was. Edie's saying the 90s. I'm gonna agree with you there about the 90s in terms of food. 2024 is the best stuff. You got the 2024 technology with the 1990s style. Zonor. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Comment shout out for today is Mia Machado. If you wanna shout out in the next video, make sure to leave a comment below and Edie might choose you. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit that bell. Bye! Bye.